Hello once again, Salkar fans and fellow patrons. Welcome back to our show. And today we've got a special track build for you tonight. We are going to be doing Daytona, the infamous Daytona 500. This is, of course, one of these great big wide oval tracks. And it's really cool to do, although there is a lot of stress in the track because of those angles and the slopes to our curves. However, without further ado, let's go down and let me show you how I built this amazing track. So here we are down at the Daytona Speedway, Daytona 500 Speedway that is, and here I've got our table set into a rectangle formation that is four 4x8s four set up long ways with uh, 8 feet going this way and 16 to the back. Then here we've got our two 2x4 two tables set side by side and that's to help give this styrofoam brace here a bit of um, traction. And then I have a white folding table here. And if you want to, you could uh, do another, um, take another four by eight sheet of plywood, cut it in half long ways. And then you'd have two uh, long eight by twos. Anyway, you can see all these supports that are in here holding this up. These are made out of styrofoam. I try to make them as long as these supports here. And then here, these are angled pieces of styrofoam, just to take up the weight here and here. And then underneath our start-finish gate, I've got two inches up here and about half an inch there, just to catch that slope. Now, uh, these tables, you could always make them longer and wider out that way to make more of that triangular trioval. But uh, I don't really have the table space in here to do that correctly. So my suggestion here is to try to go three pieces of track on here, which would push that out there and make that a little tighter over in there. However, let's take a look at how I built this thing, starting with our start finish gate. And I think you guys have seen enough of these videos where I don't have to tell you, you get this in expansion three and whatever. Or maybe you haven't, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there's your start finish gate. And here's the expansion track piece for the start finish gate. Uh, these ones can go up to eight lanes. They all hook in, there's an electric connector in here, much like uh, how, the, how your controllers hook on. You get the control tower when you buy a set. Actually, you get one of these power tracks when you buy the controller. And I've bought three of the wireless plus controller sets here. Uh, a set will come with your start finish gate when you buy it out of a kit, of course. Anyway, so we have th six pieces of track in our start finish. We, of course, have two power tracks for our controllers, two regular straights, and then our start finish ones here. Uh, now, we're going to go this way. We've got six pieces of track going over here, so actually eight. <laughs> two crosses from expansion set number three center cross from expansion set number three, two single straights, and then 
two double straight, regular straight tracks, I guess you call them. And then here we've got our embanked curves. And there are three 3-30s three and four 4-15s, the angled ones. Actually, six 4-15s. And then here we have two regular straight pieces of track. Four, actually. <laughs> Numbers are out. Here, I'll do this one right. There's two 2-30 two embanked curves and four 4-15 embanked curves. Now here, I've decided to be a little bit cruel to the guys. I put a chicane here on a slope. There's two chicanes from expansion set number three. Then right here, I've got a 1-30, uh, 3-30, pardon me, and two 4-15s. And again, now with the slopes I've got, or the supports, I have one, two, three, four tubes. And then you got that flat plate. Now if you have screws, of course you can screw these in so they don't slide off the table if you're planning a more permanent track. Okay, now here I've got two straights, two straights. Now, in previous videos I've had two crosses here, but one of them belonged to a customer and he took it away. So I've got the double cross here and then a, let's see, a, that would be a left hand switch. Then here we've got six of the one, da, uh, one quarters. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and I've got the red pins going this way to keep these tracks together. Then here we've got a 1-3-30 uh, and 4-15s. And then here's another four straights. One, two, three, four. It, it's basically where we've got the other side of this curve now. So there's two 3-30s embanked and four 4-15s embanked. And then here I've got the switch going to the right hand. That's just so that it's like that cross over there, but stretched between two pieces. And then two straights up here. And then our final 90 degrees of this embanked curve. So one, two, three, 3-30s three and four, four or six 4-15s. And then we wind down here with another one, two, three, four straights, or right back into our start finish gate. And that, dear friends, is how you build this amazing Daytona Tri-Oval. Hey everybody, this is Trevor Oselescu, owner of Monster Hobbies, and I wish to thank all of our patrons out there for your great support in keeping this channel alive. Without your contribution, we would not be around, so thank you again very much. And if you would like to become one of our patrons, please check it out at www.patreon.com forward slash monster underscore hobbies. Anyway, let's continue on with our great video. All right, deadly tonight. Devin. You guys would be completely out of cards by now. Oh! <laughs> I hope none of these go airborne. <laughs> <laughs> Big entanglement. It's called NASCAR. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's worse than the accident of the Petty Head. We got Dale and 
Howard's out. So there's Dale as a victor. Thank you. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that build of Daytona, and I wish you a lot of success in setting this up, whether you're racing NASCAR or IMSA, which is going to be our next league coming up. So there's a lot of cool, cool cars on here. IMSA 1976. And I know this, this Porsche it was in there, but it's a little bit later. However, whatever. <laughs> I don't mind. Anyway... Good luck on that track build, and we'll see you on the next great track build.